Artlist just came out with a new AI image and video generator inside their platform. In this video, I'm gonna be testing it out. Let's check it out. So when we navigate to the Artlist website, you'll notice that there's a new tab on the left side called AI Image and Video. When we click on it, you're brought to this screen where you can select an image style and then put in a text prompt to generate your image using AI. If we scroll down here, you have a lot of different styles you can choose from. You have multi-purpose, studio portrait, there's even a 3D option. If you want to see some of the examples in each style, you can click on this explore button to give you some ideas of what you can generate using the style. And how this tool works is based on credits. And you'll notice that above each style name, there's the amount of credits that it'll take to generate an image. So you can see if we choose Playful 3D, it's going to use 120 credits. If we scroll down, you can see that there's other versions that use less credits. If we scroll back up at the bottom right of the prompt menu, you can see how many credits you have remaining here and when it renews, depending on the plan you have. But let's take a look at how to generate an image using one of these styles. For the first generation, I'm going to use this warm, realistic style. So I'm going to click select. This will update the style in the top left and then you can put in your text prompt. So I'm gonna type in girl running out into the ocean at sunset, wide shot with some behind her and birds flying around in the sky. Now what's really nice, and I'm not the best at writing out prompts when it comes to AI, there's this enhance button at the top right. You can click on this and Artlist will use AI to expand the prompt. So you can see it adds a lot of more detail into the prompt. You can proofread it and make adjustments if you see something that you want to change. Or let's say if you want to make another enhancement, maybe you don't like this one, you can click it again and it will update into another prompt for you. Now let's say if you read this one and you want to go back to the original, you can click the back button, this goes back. So you can choose which one you'd like the most and make adjustments. At the bottom left, you can choose the aspect ratio. So right now I'm in one to one square but you can change it to maybe landscape, portrait, depending on the setting that you wish. So I'm gonna choose landscape, and then you can choose how many images you wanna generate. Keep in mind, each one uses an amount of credits. So if you change it to like two images, you can see it'll use 160 credits. If you change it to three, it'll use 240. So for now, let's choose one, and then I'm gonna click generate. And you can see that it is generating our image. And we are now brought to the My Creations tab where I can see other images and videos that I've generated in the past as well. All right, so now we have our image here. Now we have a few different options. You can download it right away. You can also choose to upscale it by twice the resolution and this will use 10 credits there. You can also choose to add it to your favorites or an artboard if you want to add it to an artboard for an existing project or you can choose to delete it if you wish to delete it. Now from here, you can actually make a video from this image. So we can go and click on animate next. And then this image is brought over to the image to video tab here. Now it will automatically put in a text prompt for you. So you can read this and make adjustments if you wish. And then at the bottom left, you can choose the duration. So you can choose from five or 10 seconds long and each one will use a different amount of credits here. And then the resolution. So you can choose from 720 or 1080. Once again, it changes how many credits are used. So for now, I'm gonna do five seconds at 1080p. And then I'm gonna click animate. As you can see, it's generating our video here. All right, once it's done, we can preview our image. We can then click download on the right. And this is what we have. So it did a pretty good job. Let's test out some of the other styles inside Artlist. So one style that I thought was really cool is this neon future one. And I wanted to make kind of like a really cool trippy type of scene out of this. So I'm gonna select this as the style. I'm gonna type in here, shark dancing in a laser light show. We'll click enhance to expand the prompt a little bit. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. All right, let's click generate and see what happens. Here we go. We got our image. That looks really cool. Let's animate this one as well. One important note I did want to mention when it comes to the image to video is that you can only make videos out of the artless generated images. So if you're wondering, can you upload your own image and make a video out of it? Right now, you can only use the images that you use from text to image to make the video. But let's click animate and see how it animates this neon dancing shark. All right, so we have our video. Let's take a look. That looks really cool. All right, let's test out their 3D style. I'm gonna select the playful 3D style. And let's do superhero cat flying through the city. We'll see how it handles adding different elements together that typically aren't put together. For example, a cat flying through the city rather than a human. Let's see what Artlist generates. All right, here we go. We have our image. 
Now let's see how this looks animated. All right, it just finished. Let's see what we have. Oh, that looks pretty cool. So that's the new AI image and video generator. Now, when it comes to the new plans and pricing, you'll notice that Artlist updated their plans to include an AI suite, which costs around $30 a month. This will come with the AI videos and image generator, as well as the AI voiceovers. Now the AI suite is only one part, but if you want to see all the features Artlist has to offer, I did make a video going over all of them. I will link that video right up there. Feel free to go check that out. But that does it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.